DaVinci Resolve for noobs. In DaVinci Resolve, there's a lot of different ways to get your audio levels to sound right when you export your project. I've talked about how you can right click inside of your edit page and you can normalize your audio and set it for things like YouTube to try to normalize your audio to specific levels. On the deliver page, there's also an audio normalization for your entire project that allows you to normalize the audio down for things like YouTube and Netflix. So it tries to hit those DB and LUFS targets. But the method that I actually prefer is inside of the Fairlight page. And in the upper right, you'll see an option for meters. If you turn on your meters, you'll see another set of meters up here above and beyond the mixer meters in your lower right. And if you're editing content that's gonna be on places like YouTube or TikTok, this can be really important. In a nutshell, what you're looking at here are four different meters. The meter all the way to the left is your total output in decibels. It's a decibel scale that peaks at zero. When we're exporting for YouTube, we're trying to have the highest peak not to exceed minus one. So anywhere in between that minus five to zero is where we're targeting. You can ignore the control room output. That really is a separate meter for when you're trying to change the ability to control the speakers that you're listening to inside of your studio. The next one is the loudness M, which is a peak metering for loudness. A lot of people don't understand the difference between loudness, luffs, and decibels. Loudness or luffs is perceived volume. You can have two completely different audio clips that are at the exact same decibel level, but one might sound louder or feel louder when you listen to it just based on the way it's been EQ'd or compressed. M meter is only gonna show you specific high peaks that might jump out left or right, but it's the one to the right of it that you wanna pay attention to. You'll see you have the option here to set it for anything you want. I use an absolute scale and I set it for YouTube and that's going to give me a target of minus 14 luffs. So in a perfect world when I'm setting up my volumes, adding compression, adding some limiting, I'm trying to make sure that my output decibels is somewhere up in this range not going past minus one and that my YouTube's luffs level never peaks above minus 14. And if I can get them up and as close to those two as possible, I know that my project volume when I export is going to sound really good on YouTube in terms of overall volume. 